Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. In this problem, we are given a binary tree with unique values. And for each level, we can swap the values of any two nodes. And we have to return the minimum number of swap operations that will make each level sorted. Let's have a look at this example. Here, the first level is already sorted. For the next level, we have to swap 3 and 4 to make the level sorted. That will be one swap operation. For the next level, 5 should belong to the 0th position. Hence, we'll swap 5 and 7. The next element 6 is already at its correct position. And finally, we'll swap 7 and 8 to make the level sorted. We'll require two swap operations for this level to be sorted. The next level is already sorted. Hence, the answer is 3. Let's try to come up with an intuitive solution for this. The first thing you can notice is that we have to go level by level and then sort each of them. Hence, we would use a breadth first search traversal. Let's consider this example array for a level. The correct sorted arrangement for this array would be the first element 40, which is at index 0, should be ideally at index 5. Hence, we will find the number at index 5 and then swap it with index 0. That number 50 should ideally be at index 7. Hence, we will swap it with 15 which is at index 7. 15 should ideally belong to index 1, hence we will swap it with 30. 30 should belong at index 4, hence we will swap it with 10. And 10 should belong at index 0 which is already swapped. At the end of our swapping process, 10 would be at index 0. You can try out the above operations in the correct sequence and then you will notice that they are all in the correct positions. Let's try to understand with the help of three numbers. Here, 20 will have to be swapped with 5 and then 20 which will be at position 1 will have to be swapped with 10. So for three numbers, two swap operations will be required. Similarly, for n numbers in a group, n minus 1 swap operations will be required. There are 5 numbers in this group, hence 4 swap operations would be required to place them in the correct positions. The next element 30 would already be at its correct position, hence nothing needs to be done. For the next element 20, it needs to be at index 3, where 18 is there and 18 needs to be at index 2. There are two elements in this group, hence one swap operation would be required. I am calling these as groups because to correctly place a number in a group, it can only be swapped with numbers in that group. Moving on, our next unvisited element is 45. We see that it is already at its correct position. Hence, no swap operations are required. So, five operations would be required in total. To find the ideal position of each element, we can sort the array and then use a hash map to store the number as a key and its sorted position as the value. The time complexity would be, since we have to sort each level, it would be O of n log n. And the space complexity would be, we are using a queue to do the BFS traversal and also a hash map of size n. Hence, it would be O of n. Let's implement our solution. Let's initialize a queue to do the BFS traversal. Let's initialize our result to be 0. We'll do a BFS on each level and store the elements in an array. Hence, we'll initialize an empty array. For each element in that level, we'll pop our queue from the left and store it in our array. We'll check if that node has a child, we'll add it to the queue for the next level. So we'll check if the left or the right child exists. We'll create our hash map by first sorting the row and then we'll iterate over the sorted array and use the number as the key and its index as the value. For example, if the numbers in the row are 30, 20 and 10, the hash map would have a key 30 with value 2, 20 with value 1 and 10 with value 0. We'll keep a visited set to keep track of the numbers which are already swapped to their correct positions. We'll iterate through each element in the row. 
and check if they are in the correct positions or not. And if they are not, then we'll have to form a group of elements which have to be swapped amongst each other. We'll keep our current index to be i and the count of the elements in the group to be 0. For finding all the elements that belong to this group, we'll have to check if our current index is not visited and our current number is not already at its correct position. Hence, we are checking if the correct position of our current number is not the current index. In that case, we'll add the current index to our visited set. Our new index would be the correct position of our current number. This process would be repeated for our new index. We'll also increment the count of our group by 1. And finally, when no more elements can be part of that group, we'll add to our total the size of the group minus 1. There can be a case where the number is already at its correct position. In that case, the size of the group would be 0. Hence, we are using a max operator. And finally, after our BFS traversal for all the levels, we can return our answer. Let's submit our solution. As you can see, our solution is accepted. If you have any doubts or concerns regarding this solution, please mention in the comments. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.